Welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric thing you need in your life. DPZ, rolling solo once again with another comic review that was uh, given to us by our good friend on the channel, Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you once again for this. And today I'm going to be re 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 reviewing the first volume of a comic by the name of Lady Macanita. And this volume is called The Mechanical Corpse. Now, Lady Macanita is a comic from a creator by the name of... Uh, Joe uh, Benetez. Hope I'm saying that last name right. Hope I, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yes, I did have to physically grab the book because I could not remember the name. But Benetez wrote, made this comic as his own project, and it's actually part of his own comics, his own uh, comic line. Now, this series is a steam. The best way I could describe Lady Macanita is that uh, it's kind of like a steampunk version of Alita Battle Angel. Which is funny because that con that uh, incidentally uh, that movie is coming out in about a few days. Uh, yeah, and this wasn't planned. I wasn't planning on doing this. I just realized right before I did the review. Hey, it's kind of like that movie that's coming out in a few days. I literally did not plan this. It was just, I guess, good timing, because I'm good like that. Anyway. So this comic is a fictional version of 18th century London, and if you love steampunk like I do, oh boy, oh boy, you are in for a treat, because they really implement steampunk to the nth degree, but not like um, over-the-top steampunk, well, there is some over-the-top steampunk, but like, it's, it's done so well, and the artwork, oh my god, the artwork in this comic is amazing. Like, seriously, there are some great double-page spreads in here um, that are just Oh my god, they are just beautiful to look at. Every bit of artwork, in, every bit, uh, bit of art is just pure magic to look at. It is just incredible to look at firsthand. And I gotta say, uh, Joe Benetez does some excellent work in here. Like, th I'm pretty sure there are just art books uh, of this series as is. So, yeah. Um, now, Lady Macanita, like I was saying, is a character who exists in this fictional Lon steampunk London world in the city of, Mac of uh, Machina City. And in here, this adventure, she's kind of like a Sherlock Holmes or... Uh, she's very much like Sherlock Holmes or Doc Savage or, you know, Indiana Jones in that she's uh, called in to investigate or goes on certain missions alongside her sidekick, Mr. Lewis. Um... And in this particular mission, she's trying to figure out words about her past when she discovers that a young woman with mechanical parts, just like she has, has been found dead in a railway station. So they go to talk about, they go to uh, Macania, who's very curious about the situation, and investigates, and slowly discovers that one of her arch enemies, Lord Blackpool, is behind it. Now, Lord Blackpool actually appeared in a early, in a prior comic um, that's actually collected in this uh, volume, in that. Um, he, she actually broke, um, messed up his leg real bad and tore off his bottom jaw, leaving him partially cybernetic. What's also interesting about this comic is that this is originally meant to be a miniseries. It's six issues with a, it's a five issue miniseries plus the zero issue that was meant to be a prequel and set up this entire storyline. Um, but we get so much in here that is kind of left up to interpretation. Um, and I'm pretty sure they explain it in the in the following volumes, which, as of this recording, or I believe there are about three, four um, volumes that are out now. Um, the second one is called The Tablet of Destinies, which so sounds like a Indiana Jones comic, which I'm already already sold on. Um, but yeah, Macanita is really cool. She's this very um, very capable woman. She's very strong-willed, and obviously she doesn't want to fight, but God help you if you get in the way, essentially. If you get in this woman's way, you are dead. <laughs> um, what I like is, like I said, there are some... It really leaves so many questions, but in a good way. Like, the connection between uh, Macanita and another character who was once, like, she looked up to as a sister named Catherine, who now hunts her. Um... There's some stuff with Mr. Lewis, her sidekick, who's an alcoholic and has some of the best jokes in here. Um, but there's clearly more to his character. Um, I really dig that. And Mr. Lewis is not treated like a love interest. It's more kind of treated like a Holmes and Watson kind of situation. Although, admittedly, if you were a Sherlock shipper, then you'd probably be shipping them already. Uh, 
But yeah, this character, you know, Makinita is really awesome. The action scenes are very well done. But again, I have to stress, this book is beautiful. And it's not just a case of picture over story. There is no case of um, picture over story. Which usually, whenever you see an, a, a comic with this much great artwork in here, you usually get left behind by, uh, you know, some story that is lacking. But that's not the case here. Thankfully, that is in no way the case with this comic book, in that this comic is very much a uh, great action and story piece. Benedez knows how to handle both action and artwork and make them both flow equally. Um, I really enjoy how he kind of takes a lot of the steampunk influence and really puts a lot of life into it. Um, yeah, and also, while Makinita is beautiful, they don't try to over-sexualize her. They don't try to, you know, Benedez doesn't try to over-sexualize her. Although I will admit that there are some scenes in here where I'm like, okay, that's a little much. But even then, like, there is no real, like, moment of over-sexualization. There's no real, like, ass shot or what have you. There's nothing really there. Um, Makinita is just beautiful with just all the clothes on, and she's wearing, like, layers upon layers of clothing. It's, it's astounding. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can make a character beautiful and sexy with a bunch of clothes. Imagine that, right? <laughs> um, but I digress. If I was to say there was one flaw in the book, is that it does get a little wordy. It does get a little wordy at times, like there are so many word bubbles in, in several pages where it really takes up a lot of the comic in how wordy it gets. Um, not like, and the same, like, again, you could make this argument for, like, Bendis or what have you, but here, like, so many word bubbles take up a lot of space. So if I was to give this comic any flaw, it would definitely be it gets a little wordy at times, and, you, but the mystery is very well done. I do believe that the mystery is very well done. I really enjoy the character, the mysterious character of Mr. Kane, who is this very dapper guy who has, like, force abilities, and he wears a gas mask. I kind of imagine, if you've ever heard of him on YouTube, Lord Jazor, he's a voice actor who has, um, he's done, the, like, the voice of, he does, like, a uh, fan voice of Joker and Deathstroke and what have you. I kind of imagine his voice, uh, he also does Doctor Doom in here as well, with a little synthesis, a little synthesis to it. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied, I apologize. But yeah, I kind of imagine Lord Jazor's voice, um, for, for Mr. Kane. But anyway, so there you go, guys. If you enjoy steampunk and are looking for some cybernetic fun, I highly recommend that. If you enjoy the Lita Battle Angel, or if you're a fan of, like, Ghost in the Shell, or su or something to that degree, or Blade Runner, I check this out. This is fun steampunk uh, greatness. And, yeah, Chris, thank you so much for this. This was a... I highly recommend this. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, like I said, this is a really good steampunk adventure. I really dug the action. Uh, again, like I said, the only flaw is that it's a bit too wordy, uh, for my taste at least, but at least the mystery for the character and the mystery itself involving the mechanical corpse is really fun. So you guys comment below. If you've read um, Lady Macanita, uh, what'd you guys think of it? Like it? Hate it? Comment below. Let us know here at Comic Universe. And Chris, thank you once again for this. I'm DPZ, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once again in the universe.